So this is another example of um, plotting points to graph parametric equations and eliminating parameters for parametric equations. So we're just going to try another example of this. So here we have a different parametric equation. Again, it has both x and y are both a function of a third variable, which in this case is t, often representing time. And as before, we are going to um, restrict our times from negative 2 to 2. This doesn't have to be the case. You can have negative infinity to infinity. You can, and if you restrict in different ways, you can get different looking kinds of graphs. But we often will have a, a beginning and an end to our t variables. Um, so if I, so what I'm going to do is I take my input, which is now my t, and then I just put it into my equation. So x is t squared minus 1, negative 2 squared is 4, minus 1 is 3, and then I'm going to put that same t into here, 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. And I can do the same thing, now I move on to negative 1, I get 1 minus 1 is 0, and when I plug it into my y equation, I get negative 2, um, when t is 0, I'm going to get negative 1 for x, and I'm going to get 0 for y. When t is 1, I will be getting 0 for x and 2 for y. And when t is 2, 4 minus 1 is 3, I'm back at 3 for x. And then for t or for y, I get 2 times 2, which is 4. Okay, so now I have a set of points and I can just go graph those points. Okay, let's go to 3. I don't know that we have to go. So here's our coordinate system. So I start at negative 2. My point is at 3, negative 4. So I'm sort of starting down here. And then I go to the point 0, negative 2, which is right here. And then I go to the point um, negative 1, 0, which is right here. And then I'm going back to 0, 2, right here. And finally, three, four. Now you could connect these with a line, but I, I look and I see a squared. So that tells me that my guess is this is a version of a parabola. And then the one thing that is different with parametric is which way we are moving. So here's the points in the plane. You can think of parametrics as being motion. So we are moving along the curve in this direction. So we usually just make little arrows that look like that. So there's my graph. We can also find different parts, or we can eliminate our parameter if we want. So rewrite as one equation. Um, so th there's a couple options. One was we want to, if we want to write it as a y equals, we could say that I'm going to solve my x equals equation for t. So I could do x plus 1 is t squared, and then, oops, x plus 1, and then take the square root. When I take the square root, um, that's going to be my t. And then what I do is I rewrite this y equals 2 times plus or minus root x plus 1, which could also be the same as plus and minus 2 root x plus 1. If we think about what that looks like, we have really two equations, but both are versions of our parent function of the of the swimmer's arm, right? The square root function, back one unit, so we are right there, and then I have a vertical stretch of two. So instead of going over one and up one, I'm going to go over one and up two. That point looks really familiar with what we just did. So that's that positive square root graph, and here is the negative square root graph. Boom. And if I look back to the previous page. That is what that graph looks like. Is there another way to do this? Yes, there is. We could also solve, and I think it would be easier this way, is to solve my y equation for t. Okay, so if I start with y equals 2t, then t is y over 2. And what I get is this x equals equation. I'm going to replace t with y over 2 squared minus 1, and I get, really, this is 1 fourth y squared minus 1. 
And from what we just did with our conic sections, oops, it's a little hard to see that one fourth. Let's see if I can move this up a little bit. Right. So this is a parabola that opens to the right. Oh, well, that looks good. It has a vertex. The y coordinate of this vertex is zero, and the x coordinate is at negative one. So that is right here. And it has this sort of stretch factor, which makes it look like that. And that is also the same graph. So there we go. I guess that's it for now.